Okay, time for tutorial number two. I'm going to take this uh, ocean, use the height map or the bump map, the ocean bump map, and I'm going to put it on another plane. And the plane is what we'll create now. Um, and this is an interesting process, and I know it's kind of weird, but just follow me. Um, I also have a lot of fun doing this. So here's our plane. That's not the plane that we're going to use, however. This is just kind of something we can use as a gauge. Um, I'm going to scale Y0, hit W and remove doubles. Okay, cool. So now we have um, two vertices, and I'm going to actually, let's scale those out. Scale, I don't know, like 40, and then extrude y 5,000. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, five kilometers out. One, two, three, four, five. And the reason is because that's sort of where the horizon line would be. So I thought, well, why not? Why not try to make an ocean that goes out all the way to the, to the horizon? Okay, so back to the beginning. That's our. This is our device that we'll use to sort of gauge where we're at. Now I'm going to, oops, um, add a circle. Let's see here. And I'm going to have six, oh, I'm sorry, 70 vertices. Okay. Tab into it. And before we do anything, I want to look at the, uh, come down here on the mesh display and click on the length so that I can see these lengths. I want for there to be squares. You don't have to do this. This is just me being sort of anal. Um, okay. Extrude, scale. And I'm going to extrude it out until it's roughly 0 0.098, somewhere in there. Close enough. And then hit repeat. And then just hold Shift R, basically Shift R. Shift R and just keep it going until we get out five kilometers or so. And there we are. Select the old. Um, Piece. I just went into wireframe mode, of course. Um, delete it. And there's my new plane. Oh, where is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so um, let's set up our clipping. And let's see here. There we go. There it is. Also, let's get rid of ambient occlusion. Cool. Okay. So here we are. And we have a five kilometer circle, but we're not going to use the whole thing. Let's add a camera. Oops. Uh-oh. Um, well, that's not good. Okay, wait. Okay. And rotate it. Grab along the z-axis by two meters. Okay. And tab into our plane. And let's hide. Whoops. Let's hide a couple of these lines that are the lines just outside of where we can see. Hide them. Hover over this area here. Hit L. Let's get rid of the measurements. Where are those measurements? Uh, they're there. Um, okay. I just hovered over this and tapped on L. And then X vertices. Okay. So what we now have... Oops, Alt-H. Okay, so what we now have... Oh, goodness. Um, okay, cool. Is this wedge-shaped plane for our ocean. And that's what we're going to use to deform with the bump map, with the ocean bump map that we just created. Okay? All right. 